Hi, good day. Today, we are going to see how AD Manager Plus can help business enterprises manage inactive user accounts in Active Directory. It is important for every business organization to have an inactive users cleanup ritual because, number one, inactive users can become a security threat as they can be misused. Number two, increasing number of inactive accounts can become unmanageable for any IT admin. And number three, a cleanup ritual ensures that you work in a neat and organized environment. As an Active Directory person, you will be very aware that Active Directory is a complex environment and cleanups can be chaotic and might lead to blunders. Okay, we shall now come with a rough action plan for our enterprise's cleanup ritual. Uh, let's say we have all our users in an OU called Site. Step 1. At the end of every month, users who have been inactive in Site OU will be moved to OU bin 1. Now after that, step 2, users who remain unattended and inactive in bin 1 for another 30 days, that is a total of 60 days, will then be moved to bin 2 and disabled there. Now moving on to step 3, users who remain unattended and inactive in bin 2 for another 30 days, that is a total of 90 days, will then be moved to bin 3 and deleted there. Our action plan is now complete. As the next thing to do, let us see how to achieve this using AD Manager Plus Automation. Log in to the product and then click on the Automation tab. Now we are going to configure three simple automations which will work in tandem with each other. These will automate our entire cleanup ritual. Automation 1 that is going to move users who have been inactive for 30 days from OU site to OU bin 1. And the second automation will move and disable users who have been unattended inactive for 30 days, that's a total of 60 days, from OU bin 1 to OU bin 2. And the third automation will move and delete users who have been unattended and inactive for 30 days, that is a total of 90 days, from OU bin 2 to OU bin 3. Now let us configure the first automation. Go to the Automation tab and click on create new automation. Uh, let us name the automation. Uh, so uh, I have named it as cleanup step one. The description field is optional. Let us add a small description, say uh, move inactive users from site OU to OU bin one. And the automation category is going to be user automation. Then choose the right domain and click on Add OUs to select the OU from which the accounts are to be moved. In our case, it is going to be OU Site. So I click on Add OUs and then I select OU Site. Under the Automation task, choose the action Move Users because we are going to move inactive users from one OU to another. Now. I select my target container. So I click here and I select my target container. According to the action plan, the target container is going to be OU bin 1. AD Manager Plus has 150 plus uh, pre built reports from which you can fetch data and use at your convenience. Uh, for this task, we will be using one such report, which is inactive users report. So this report will fetch the inactive users in your domain for a specified duration. So I click on select. I select inactive users report. Now I specify the time period here, which is going to be for 30 days. And then I click on OK. And now I choose the frequency and time for the automation to run. I can either have it scheduled to run on a daily basis, weekly basis, monthly basis, or an hourly basis. Whereas in our scenario, it's going to be on a monthly basis. So now I select monthly basis and I schedule it to run on the first of every month. And it's going to be at 10 o'clock. I click on save. 
So we are done with automation number one. For automation two and automation three, we need to configure automation policy before we configure an automation. Because in automation one, we only had one task to perform, that is moving users. But in automation two and three, we have two tasks to perform in each automation. In the second one, we move and disable and in the third automation, we move and delete inactive users. Automation policies are used when there are multiple tasks to be performed in the same automation. When there are multiple tasks, these policies help us to sequence a series of tasks and then execute them. Once you create a policy, you have to implement it in an automation for it to be effective. Let us configure the automation policy to use in automation 2. Let us name our policy move and disable. The description is again optional. Choose the automation category which in our case it's going to be user automation. I select the right domain. Now under the instant task I select the first task as move users. And then I select the target container which in our case is going to be OU bin 2. I add another successive task which is to disable users. Make a note of these policy names as you will later implement them in automations. Now that my automation policy is ready, I click on save. Now let us create the automation. Let us name the automation cleanup step 2. The description is optional and the automation category is going to be user automation. I select the right domain. Now I click on add OUs and select the OU from which the accounts are to be moved. In our case it is going to be OU bin 1. I have already made the selection. Now under automation task or policy I choose and I select select automation policy. I scroll down and then here I have the automation policy which we have created previously which is move and disable. Now choose the inactive users report for the past 30 days. I click on OK. And now I set the frequency and time for which the automation is to be run. I can either have it on a daily basis or a weekly basis, monthly or an hourly basis. After which I click on save. Similar to the second automation, I have now created a third automation and the purpose of this automation is to move and delete inactive users. So I've given it a name and I've selected the automation category, I've selected the right domain and in this case the source OU or the source container is going to be OU bin 2 and I've now created an automation policy which is move and delete. Now since delete is a sensitive operation I have implemented the business workflow. The business workflow ensures that sensitive changes in Active Directory are approved by those concerned or in charge. So AD Manager Plus will take care of the rest. The automation will hence proceed to work like this. Thank you.